A little bit of a heads up going into this one. We are going to be giving a little bit of a spoiler for the TakeOver Tour set list. So if you don't want to get spoiled, by all means, go ahead and skip this video. Check out another video on the channel and or just go about your day. And if you do, I really hope you have a good day. However, if you don't mind getting spoiled and or you're just interested at all, then please continue on with the video if you are so inclined. So, song number 11, Off a of Scale and Icy, is Redecorate. A very complex song, especially if you take a step back and try to figure out whose perspective it's from, because it's up to talking from one person to three people, and it gets confusing on whose lens you're trying to look at it from. It's also very complex if you're trying to do like a lyrical analysis of what the song is talking about in terms of Dima lore. And it's a song that means a lot to so, so many people, including Tyler himself, who said in an interview with Billboard, I introduced this brand new sparkling happy colorful record and I hope that people understand that the reason I'm ending with redecorate is that we're heading in another direction after this this is an intentional hint of what I'm trying to do next it's not really a cliffhanger but more a precursor and lyrically it's a very important song to me and if we take a look at the first song off of scale nicely which is good day and we take a look at redecorate redecorate is so much darker sounding good day is very bright and happy but redecorate is dark it is very somber and lyrically it is a bit of a darker tone compared to good day which is still a dark song but just covered up by all this happiness but redecorate is just dark in another way and when it comes to the take over tour they've only done the song twice well Tyler's done the song twice because Tyler's basically doing a location sessions version of it, reconstructing it from scratch by himself, a scaled back and isolated version of it, if you will. And it's very complex, it's very beautiful, and he's been doing something very interesting at the very end when he's been playing it. Just take a look at this. So as you heard there, it goes into something that's not redecorate at the end. These lyrics at the very end, the Tyler's singing aren't redecorate whatsoever. And people in the comments have been asking me what this means for a little bit now. So I figured that we are going to talk about it today. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on when you're watching this. How's it going, guys? First off, I hope you're having a good day today. Hope your day is going one. Hope it continues to go well. Let's get right into it. This is what I think is happening at the end of redecorate decorate live. So if you kind of understand what Tyler was saying in the video, he was saying, we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. You've made this far. You've made it this far. I said, we're going to be okay. Okay. Now, originally, when they first did this in Denver, we just had, it's going to be okay. Then, at the, then when they performed it again in LA, they added on, you've made it this far, you've made it this far. And people have been speculating that this is something that Tyler has been working on, like potentially a new song, which goes into a theory I had yesterday and why there's only 14 songs, I mean, why there's only 11 songs off of Scale Nazi. To which, brief summary, which definitely go check out that video, but th uh, spoilers for theory number one of that. Basically, we have one more single in this era, because we got Level of Concern, one song. We got Christmas Saves the Year, song two, 11 songs off of scale. And I see that is 13 songs, so maybe possibly one more single giving us the full 14 this era. And even uh, in one of my favorite T.O.P. news accounts, T.O.P. Today, said, which I did take this video from, uh, link to follow T.O.P. Today down in the description box below gotta give credit where credit is due they said the outro to redecorate seems to be getting longer in each city perhaps it's a glimpse
comes a something they're working on, which is what a lot of people are thinking and people are asking me in the YouTube comment section, what do I think about this to which I 100% disagree. I know it just made a lot of people upset that I disagree with that, especially since I got some people hyped up saying that this could be the 14th song we get this era completing the 14th song set. However, hear me out. Show number one in Denver, we only got the we're going to be okay lyric. And this is something that I felt Tyler needed to tell all of us because a lot of people needed Tyler to hear Tyler say that because a lot of people in my perspective on Twitter click have been struggling right now. This could be down to a multitude of things, mainly personal issues, seasonal depression, mercury retrograding, which means really nothing to me, but there are just so many factors and Tyler just giving us that reassurance that we're going to be okay means a lot to so many people. I remember when they first did the uh, show in Denver and this, the video came out of him saying we're going to be okay. I cried because I really needed to hear that as well. And so did a lot of people. And maybe it was just Tyler reassuring himself and Josh that we're going to be okay. Cause I mean, they're back to playing live music. We are so much improvement of where we were last year that we have live music again. The boys are on tour performing live, which is super, super exciting. And I'm pretty sure this is the biggest show they performed at the TakeOver Tour to this point. I'm not sure how big Summerfest was, but I'm pretty sure the 75% sure the arena show was bigger at a time where Tyler and Josh thought they might never perform in arenas again when things were scary. Then when we got to California, we add lyrics that we've made it this far to where, of course, like, we can talk about just how far we were from a year ago to now because we made it this far. The fact that tours are back, uh, they're up and running again. They've announced shows. They're going to Mexico City. They're going to be going to London next year. They keep adding more and more dates to the tour. Like they've ma we've made it this far and we're going to keep on going. And maybe it's a reassurance to us also. Like Tyler saying, look how far you've come. I'm super proud of you. I love you all so much and I appreciate you all. Again, something we need to hear Tyler say and it's just very very powerful and like other reasons can include that Tyler is just improvising at the piano and he's just like reading the mood of the room and like he knows what people need to hear because one of the things that I love and hate about Tyler Joseph is that he knows my life better than I do. It is annoying at times, but it's also so assuring. And he I can serene mood so well to know that here's what people need to hear. And then also with this, we get callbacks to level of concern. Tell me we're all right. Tell me we're okay. Tell me we're all right. Tell me we're okay. As well as a callback to migraine because we've made it this far, kid, which they are doing migraine on tour. They're doing level of concern on the tour. So maybe they, he, Tyler's just quoting these songs at the end of redecorating. The thing to understand also is that the piano part that Tyler's doing underneath isn't new at all. All. It is just the same. It's just redecorate. He's improvising on top of redecorate. And then it goes into that Halo theme. I don't know if that has anything to do with lore related. <laughs> Maybe that Tyler is like, all right, here, here, here's redecorate. We're hinting at this. And by the way, the Halo theme is also a hint of the next album, but that is just speculation on my bar part. We're just talking about redecorate here. But I don't think that it's something new. I don't think that this is a new song from Tyler. And the important thing also is that it's been two times that they performed Redecorate Live. We can't just say that, hey, we are, like, this is a glimpse of a new song until like they perform it a little bit more. Like again, it's the second time that Tyler has performed Redecorate. Time number three is going to be this week. Then there's one next week. Then Columbus is going to be weird because currently there's only three shows announced for Columbus and there's no fourth show. Columbus is weird. But basically what I'm trying to say is that we have to wait before a bit more before we can confirm that Tyler is working on, I mean, we know Tyler's working on new music. We do, in fact, know this. However, I don't think that this is going to be a new song from the boys. 
I mean, could I be wrong? Absolutely, 100%. We never know with the boys because they're always up to new things. So if I had to like, give a percentage of confidence, I am 90% confident with a 10% chance of error. Much like with ARGs, they're more. it's more so like not associated with the pilots than associated with the pilots. And I am 90% sure that this isn't going to be a new song and 10% unsure if it is going to be a new song. Like there's a 10% marginal error. If if that makes any sense whatsoever. But anyway guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think? Do you think this is going to lead to a new song or do you think this is just reassurance from Tyler saying that we're going to be okay? We've made it this far and Tyler is just giving us a little bit of appreciation back at the end of Redecorate. But like I said, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you have any theories to submit to the channel, please email me over at goodday2op21 at gmail.com. Once again, that is goodday2op21 at gmail.com. Leave your theories down in the description, I mean, in the comment section below. Not in the description box, you can't edit that. And I will see you all tomorrow with another video. Goodbye, and good night, but more importantly, have a good day, and I'll see you later.